Stop recording. Stop camp. Stop recording button. So today I had my very first voting experience ever as a blind citizen of Canada. It was pretty good, yeah. So Kevin, who's my stepdad, we went we went over to the church. We went to the one that my mom was working at because she was the DRO for the elections. And we went to the church and we went in and there was somebody standing, there was somebody at the entrance. We gave them our, like, I gave them my ID and then we went. And I ended up going over to the, the area where my mom was working. Yeah, so. So we went over to where she was. Because that's just where we happened to be. Yeah. So we went over there. And we I gave her my ID. And then after that, I... She's like, like, do you have a voter's card, ma'am? Or... And I'm like, no, I don't have a voter's card. And she... Gave me this form to sign. She's like, would you, would you like English or French? I'm like, I'd like it in English, please. So then she gave me the form and she read me the declaration. Because I had to take, like, a oath. And, like, I had to, like, say that I agreed to it. I thought I was going to have to put my hand on a Bible or nail down or all that crazy stuff. It's because I didn't know. I had never voted before. If you've never voted before, sometimes I'm the kind of person that has these crazy conclusions. But I didn't have to do, thank God I didn't have to do none of that crazy stuff. Yeah. So, and then after I said, okay, and she read me the choices like the Green Party and the liber Libertarian or all the, all the choices. And then I went over to the, the voting screen like, you had to go behind a screen so that nobody would know who you were voting for. Because if they knew who you were voting for, it's going to cause an issue. Yeah. So. And Kevin, he helped me to. You had to color in the circle. That was a bit hard because I can't really see very well to color it in. Yeah. So then, then I went over to where the uh, computer or the tabulator or whatever it's called was, and we had to put it into the machine. And then it says it beeped, and my, and that meant my vote was my vote was cast. And then Kevin voted, but I'm not gonna tell who either of us voted for. I would like to, but I'm afraid it's gonna cause an issue. So, and that was it. It'd probably be a little bit different if you're sighted, but but if you're ever anxious to vote because you don't know what to expect, if you're ever nervous, don't be because it's not that hard. It's pretty easy. Yeah, and mom would like call me by my last name and all that. That's something I was so, I was a little bit weirded out about. Yeah, like, okay, <laughs> it's like, the military or something else. I don't know. I was just a bit weirded out about that. But she has to. She had to call me by my last name. She has to call by last name. I might not like it, but if but elections are only year like elections are only every four years. And you know and it's not that bad being called by your last name. I prefer to be called by my first name though. <laughs> She just had to do that because it was a, a professional thing. It just made me a little bit weirded out, though. But it was pretty easy. It's not that hard. It's not as hard and not as somber as I think it is. It's not that as intimidating and a little bit as it is. It's pretty easy. Well, the next time I vote, now I'll know what to expect. I just thought... That you'd like to hear about my my first voting experience, I would have liked to be able to like have 
videoed it, but I couldn't really do that because you can't really take video. So I just, so I just thought I'd just tell you all about it. Hope you enjoyed. Bye. Camera choose stop recording button.